Yo, what up? It's your boy with JJ Stone, a.k.a. Black Gritty. Jason, say hi to people, Jason. We're back again after one of the best sports weekends in Philly history. Uh, it, Man, <laughs> I'm so happy for any kid that's around, like any young uh, baseball fan who'd never seen us in the playoffs. Like kids that are like 13, 15 are so hyped. Like when I, I picked Leah from school, everybody was wearing red on oh, Friday. It, it was just, it was so good. So like so many kids that never got to see the playoffs yeah. got to not only see the playoffs, got to see us win the playoffs. And it's amazing. I mean, we were sort of kids last time they made the playoffs. Don't tell them how old we are. Yeah, yeah, we were younger. Sort of kids. We were younger. Still rotund, <laughs> but less rotund. Yes, less rotund. Less rotund. <laughs> uh, so this, that the hurt. Cardinals and <laughs> Cardinals. Uh, yeah, like it's a Cardinals weekend. They all got whooped. But let, let's talk about the Phillies first, right? So you're 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 watching that game. You're you're more Mister Baseball than I am. How did you feel during the game? game First one, game, game one. During game one? Yeah. Disappointed. I'm like, this happens every time. I hate this lineup. I hate this team. Total Negadelphian. The whole thing. Just so mad at the way they're playing. And then the ninth inning, it starts. The so, rally starts. So my beard was red. Yeah. I was wearing red. <laughs> like, you know, and, it, and when I when I people don't know when I put the color here, it scrubs this thing up. So it's it's a lot of work to get this thing to have any kind of color tone to it because it's so dark. But I'm sitting there on my couch, and I literally, the Eagles have trained me, because you know me, I'm a rageaholic. Yeah. I call and wild out. Like, <laughs> I mean, people watch this show, and they're like, how come you're not black gritty from the radio? And I'm like, because I only got three minutes on the radio. I got to whoop-de-whoop and get it all out. <laughs> you know, but I'm on my show. I'm not going to go crazy. But, man, I sat there in a fucking zen-like mode the whole game one thinking to myself, it's only two runs. We could tie it. That's all I was thinking. We could tie it. And then when it got down to the night, I'm like, all right, this is what they're supposed to do. They're at home. The crowd is raucous. You know, everybody's going out of minds. They're supposed to win this game. And next thing I know. <laughs> the best fans in baseball are leaving early. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Ba baseball hell. Baseball yes. hell. I mean, I don't know how that quote got started. I don't know if that's original, but they may look. It was so great watching that. And again, uh, the the Cardinals haven't lost his game, 93 games, being up 2-0 going into the ninth. I mean, it was only two. Yeah. And so it wasn't like the comeback of America. They weren't down 13. But the way the game was going, it meant everything in the world to that team because they were playing great. It was only 2-0. They were still playing great. They were, you know what I mean? Yeah, were. The pitching. Wheeler. Woo! Wheeler. Mr. October, Aaron oh, Nola. Mr. October, Aaron Nola. <laughs> so then we get that win. We go to game two, and Bryce hits that bomb, and you just know. You're like, we're, we're, we're going to be good because neither team could hit anyway. Once he hits that home run, I'm thinking the floodgates are going to open for us. We get into that inning, and if Bryce didn't get greedy. He was safe. But he was safe, terrible but terrible mistake to make that play. To go to I need you on first and third, baby. I don't need this. I don't need this second. But I mean, he was safe. He was safe. We got hosed, Tommy. Yeah, I mean, it was a little fugazi. I don't know how you replay it and still get it wrong. Because I feel like they wanted a game three, I, and I, I believe that. and I hate saying that, and I hate being the guy that's like the refs and the league and the. But at some point, you got to think to yourself, why did they not call right. that? Well, I mean, storyline wise, they clearly wanted Molina and Pujols and Wainwright to advance. That's just forty years right. of Cardinal baseball coming down to, and I mean, not for nothing. It, you, if we would have lost that game, I literally would have said that Vegas did something. <laughs> I because there's no other way besides Vegas or the league scripts it because they both got up to bat, they both got a hit. Yep. Then they got pinch runners in place, and I'm like, oh my god, like. <laughs> And, the, you know, the announcers, they're, they're, they suck. They're making mistakes about everything they're talking about. But, you know, they're just like, oh, this is their last time. They've done so much for the city. And come, and I, I get all that pan, panditry or pan, pageantry. I was like, panditry? Panditry, pageantry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I get all that. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, like, calm, get off their dick a little bit. But we won the game. And it was a great, great, great feeling. Watching those dudes celebrate and so watching the fans. And just be the, the you know is it just because they you know what happened what happened with the Cardinals eleven years ago what happened? eleven years ago the Cardinals eliminated the Phillies and ended their run yeah. that's when Ryan Howard got hurt tore yeah. the Achilles yeah 
All of it. Everything went downhill. Everything went downhill. Down. And so now we ended their era. We ended a pool host and a thug life tattoo neck uh, uh, life. How is he still catching for 20 years? Yo, so he's catching on like one knee, yeah. <laughs> rocking back and forth. I was like, yo, he shoot, he he could do the Meg the Stallion dance right now. His knees are incredible. They should be put in the Hall of Fame. They just cast iron them things out. I don't know how he's. Meanwhile, dead. we sit here for a half hour. I get up, my knees hurt. Man, I'm I'm, I'm crickety rickety, and he's not a little dude either. No, it's not no, like he's no. a, it's not he's like very muto or something. He's he's a thick boy. He's a big man, and I'm like I, I was thoroughly impressed. Uh, he, his knees have been blessed by the angels. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But they took that George W. And we, we got that win. And it was so impressive and so amazing. Uh, now the Phillies got a full-time coach. No more interim coach. That's right. <laughs> Two-year extension. Well-deserved. There he is right Rock. there. Well-deserved. Okay. So <laughs> um, it cracks me up because I didn't think he'd be this good of a coach. I don't see be what a coach really does to help you on baseball as a professional, to be honest. So w w that's a good discussion. Um, this, <laughs> we're going to go. You know, I think that baseball is such a mental mm -hmm. thing that if the person who is the leader of your ship doesn't keep your mi mentals right, it can destroy a whole team or it can uplift a team. That's fair. So, you know, from coaching, some kids need a little extra talking to. Some, you know, like I, I always laugh and Drew can call myself the third assistant coach on my team. So, you know, there's the head coach running first base. There's a the second coach running Quality third base. Control. Yeah, and they're and they're telling you <laughs> head down and they're saying stuff. And it's rare that I yell out stuff to the girls when they're at bat, but I talk to them before they go up to bat. Mm -hmm. I talk to them when they come off the bat. Like, so when they, when they strike out, I'm like, hey, don't worry about it. Get them next time. When they get a big hit and the girl usually doesn't get hit, a hey, big hitter, you know what I mean? Like, I talk them up. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Keep that going. Keep swinging. I talk to the other girls. Hey, you see her hitting? You better get hitting. Like, you know what I mean? So it keeps the vibe good because sometimes people hang their heads. Yep. They get down. And then, even though they're grown men, there's still got to be somebody to instill, hey, this we're going to work on fundamentals. Because, my God, I, I'll attribute the city and him for Bone. Oh, he's a good third baseman now. Boom! No Boom! <laughs> I I will. I, and again, I, you know, we don't know. Oh, look at him party! Look at it. It's glorious. I mean, it's Budweiser, but it's all right. That's awesome. um, but uh, yeah, I I attribute that to him because working with the guys, getting them in the right mindset. There's my MVP right there. That's my MVP. Ain't no new one crowned yet. That's my guy. So sexy, so handsome, so pretty. <laughs> I'm secure in my manhood to let you know that's a good-looking that. man right there. That's a exactly. good-looking man. Exactly. Woo! Exactly. Harper boy, family man. That's that home my run guy. was beautiful, by the uh, way. It was, it was a stroke, and it was just so impressive. It was funny. And it was <laughs> I just got done telling people before the game, that I heard, because I'm not a doctor, that that injury that he has takes your power away for like 12 months, and that's why he's been struggling to hit home runs, and they were saying he needs to change his approach at the plate be more of a, like a line drive hitter than a home run hitter. So what was he doing before he got hit? Because he was crushing it. What, before? Yeah. Well, before the injury I'm talking about. I know. So, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so I'm like, but that injury is yeah. supposed to take him down too. I know. Like, and then, uh, uh, you know. So we had that talk before the game, and then he hits the home run, you're like, or that. Or that. <laughs> yeah. Or or, or that. Or that. <laughs> um, and so, uh, boom. <laughs> boom uh, I don't even know if I have it here. Let me see if they, they post it. I don't think they posted it. So the national media... You know, ask Bohm, you know, uh, how's it like playing in front of Philadelphia? Did you hear what he said? No, I didn't. Oh, they asked him, like, how does it feel playing uh, in Philadelphia? He's like, I love this city. Yes, that's, like, that's it. It's very simple. <laughs> and he had this shit, he, he just fucking grinning ear to ear. He's like, I love playing here. And that's that was it. just it. Well, so I was like, you know, yeah. Because he yeah. had that little mishap earlier where the cameras caught him. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I knew where that clip was. I, I don't I don't <laughs> think they have it. But it, it was just so funny and impressive and just like, oh. It's so good. It's so good. And for people who complain about backing into the playoffs and the extra Just gotta get playoff in. round, guess what? Did I? Did you make the rule? Nope. I didn't make the rule. Nope. Viewership is down in baseball. This is helping get viewership up. I guarantee you that more people watch. This is like one of the higher rated games because, again, we've been starving so long. The Mariners finally getting in. Yep. Did they win? They did. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it... <laughs> It's doing what it's supposed to do because, you know. You, they oh, came back from 9-1. to one, They were losing. That's a comeback. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's what I was talking about when we were talking about a comeback. That is a comeback. 
And uh, you know what the best part about both of them winning is, though, right? Each one gets a home game now. After being the two longest teams to not make the playoffs, the fans finally get and, to see their team in the playoffs. And the city is going to go crazy. It's a weird week to week. We had Cardinals and Cardinals, and uh, they're both away, mm -hmm. and Philly dominated. Philly is going to get a home game Friday, and they have a home Sunday night game against the Dallas Cowboys. Can't wait to watch half of that game and fall asleep on the couch. Oh, man, you better get some <laughs> Red Bull in you, boy. You better take a post-pre-nap <laughs> and uh, get some sleep. So um, now that we're done that, let's uh, – oh, the Braves? We're going to kick the Braves' ass. Yeah, uh, we're going to kick the Braves' I'm, ass. I'm just looking for a split. <laughs> I'm looking for a split. Bring me home. Then the two aces throw, yep. and we're good. Yep, bring me a split. Get me home. And um, what, what is that other team that's a piece of shit? Trash monkeys? Who, the Mets? They went, ah! home. <laughs> they went home already. The Mets. Losers. Remember when the guy swindled Losers. the team and, yes. and, and had like 6,000 people and he got <laughs> to throw out the first pitch? I mean, that dude was uh, – if I'm a single Y, he a double Y. Big boy walking down there stumbling, <laughs> bumbling, happy as pig and shit to fucking throw out that ball. I'm sorry I'm cussing maybe so mad. I right. hate the fucking Mets. We're allowed to curse here. Yeah, yeah, we can. I've, I hate <laughs> the Mets, boy. And just to know that you can have 101 wins or 110 wins, be first place – for 90% of the season. They printed the shirts that they own the East. 90% of the season. And to come in here and lose in the third bullshit wild card that y'all should have mopped the floor with the Padres, and you didn't. And my God, is it amazing and does it feel good in my soul. Did you see the two lame things that happened during that game? What happened? Well, one, the Musgrove, the pitcher from the Padres, was dominating the Mets so bad that they accused him of cheating and had to oh, the check him for <sighs> substances. Oh, my God. Yeah. They're right. I mean, How awkward I'm, a, that, I'm, a, gr I'm a grown man, <laughs> right. and you, there's a million cameras everywhere. And, again, I, I, yeah, I forgot about that because right. I went back and I watched it, and I'm like, yeah. he touched his ear like once, yeah, and he's just sweating. Like, he's that'd sweating. be like... <laughs> He's sweating. It, it, yeah, I mean, he got pressure on him. Like, but it'd be different if he was every pitch. My favorite is afterwards. He, uh, you know, he made that little gesture to the Mets dugout, and the announcers were like, "Oh, you don't want to fire up the Mets dugout?" Like, man, he don't care about firing up the Mets dugout. He's dominating, right? Them boys. And, like, and fire him up to do what? Yeah, <laughs> keep, go home. Like, <laughs> keep keep eating these. Uh, and then these the stripes. saddest moment of the Mets game, they bring in their closer Diaz, down four nothing. And they still play the trumpets. He comes out walking out to the trumpets like, no, that's when you're going to win the game. <laughs> like, yeah. I saw it, a good picture. And I don't know if you remember when uh, I think Villanova lost years ago in the NCAA tournament. They had the sad flute girl. Oh, yeah. People were putting that to the well, song. Yeah, <laughs> they, well, they put, yeah, they put it. They put um, they put the uh, horn, trumpet guy up there with the. Burr, burr, yeah. burr. And it was amazing. It was a great day in but, Alonzo morning. And, uh, yeah, uh, again. Uh, since we can cuss because it's, it's, it's my show. So the Mets are the third best team in the East because the Braves are still playing. Oh, God. The Phillies are still playing. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so ridiculously good how that feels. It just, does. Just, no, because, you know, again, we're in the Northeast, so we got to hear other people. We got random fans and, and people in our lives that mm -hmm. just have navigated to become Mets fans or cowgirl fans or whatever. And you're like, come on, bro. Like, you know, and those, my, my favorite are the people that are Mets fans and Eagles fans. Yes. Cowboys <laughs> fans and Philly fans. I'm like, come on, bro. You're making me sick. Like, I I, I, I don't know. Four for four, I don't know. But you mean, come on. So let's talk about the Birds. The Birds, did they win? They won. Okay. They won. It's exciting. Uh, Wide right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not a pretty game. Nope, not at all. Uh, people are really upset about the special teams that they got a fake punt and got a first down. People are really upset uh, about a lot of things. That in particular, I just don't understand. Does the other team get paid to play? No, they're supposed to just get dominated by the Eagles. Otherwise, everything is bad. Are the Eagles undefeated? They are. 5-0. and okay. Who else is undefeated, by the way? Nobody. Nobody. So the other team gets paid to play, and you're getting everyone's best every week because they want to be the ones to knock you off of first place. They were bringing all kinds of exotic blitzes. What was going on with the offensive line, Jason? At certain points in the game, they were missing three of the five starters. So, again, I I understand people being upset and being angry. Seth Joyner went off like he always does, the grumpy bear that he is, and I get it. 
I get it, Grandpa Seth, get off my lawn, Grand Torino. I understand that not everything is perfect. And he doesn't say that everything's perfect either. But he has such vitriol yes. that it's like it borderlines on like, bro, calm down. He hates like, when they win. <laughs> and not only that, he he hates the fact that they're winning in multiple different ways. Right. Because every week he's got to come up with a different reason to complain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the defense is playing well, the offense didn't do anything. When the offense explodes, the defense didn't do anything. I get and I, and I, that's very easy to do, but at the same time, you're still finding ways to win the game. That's all that matters. Down personnel, down a kicker. The other team was down a kicker too. Allegedly, you were just talking about it. It seemed like it got tipped or whatever. But that's what they're saying. I, yeah, I still don't think it did. But. I I didn't see that either. But um, what's 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 this reaction right here? He gonna mess it. He gonna mess it, y'all. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, why love? Why love? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Why love? The stuff we do, man. Uh, the stuff we do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, beat that! Oh! 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 Ah! Yeah! Hey, come on, good job! Yeah! Hey! 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 And again, my thing is, that's great. It is great. Bring him along. Don't rush him out there. I don't need him to be a phenom right now. Nope. I, I'd rather have the guy work his way in the first year because we've got talent. Thank God we got linebackers. That's the best, yes. Because that's normally normally what happens is we have to throw him in there to the Lions and to the Wolves. I don't want to say the Lions like that, but the Wolves. We're to beat the Lions. <laughs> we beat the Lions. <laughs> you throw him out there to the Wolves, and then his confidence gets broken, or maybe he's being misused. So bring him along slowly is fine. Uh, the same thing with Davis. Like that's the old school Eagles approach. When it they used is to draft guys a year it, ahead of time before the replacements. And that's how, the replacements. And that's when our defense was, was nasty. Yep. J- uh, Jim Johnson. Did you see the play where Jordan Davis just bullied the center from the Cardinals and bent him over like a chair, oh, he, like it looked like he, he fl- without even trying really yeah, hard. Yeah, he, he he broke his back. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 that was a little embarrassing. He broke his back. You should have to come out of the game if that happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> he he might have had to come out of the game because he was struggling. Um, so here, you know, you get to see Ertz dap everybody up and his replacement, Goddard. Let's talk about Goddard real quick. He, he He's top three tight end in the league. He's playing so good right now. Top three tight end in the league. Absolutely. And I don't think you can argue it. What do I call Zach Ertz? No yak Zach. No yak Zach. Goddard, all he do is get yak. All he do is bully people. <laughs> all he do is hit somebody in the face. Uh, somewhat to a detriment. Everybody keeps worrying about Jalen Hurts taking too much abuse. <laughs> Gotta just be like, yo, here, taste this. And he just be just <laughs> trying to, he trying to, to get to... hit. Devontae yeah. Smith looks to get hit too. I don't know why, but he definitely <laughs> goes to contact. He spun out of that one. So. Yeah. Yeah. He he's I, I don't to his credit, I don't even know if he's going to contact. I don't even think it's in his psyche. Right. To think about the contact. Because right. sometimes going. he's caught so many balls where he's got like, I'm like damn. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, sh- mm, I, feel, I feel hurt when I see it because he's, he's, so, he's so slight. And every time he bounces back up. Mm-hmm. So I don't even think he's even thinking about <laughs> getting hurt <laughs> or getting hit or anything like that. Um, but Hurts yeah. was fired up for a little bit during that game, too. He caught one and he was super hyped up. So he, uh, it was the same thing like when, I, when we watched the, the Cardinals in the game, too, when that first guy got his base hit. And he was like, let's fucking go. Like, he's yeah. raised up. That's exactly how Zach was. Zach was like, let's fucking go. Is there any and better phrase than let's go to yell during a sporting thing when you do I, something good? I don't think it's so. It's the best. <laughs> I, I not, not only when you do something good, when you're first starting things. Yep. Uh, it, it's just impressive. Oh, real, real quick, just because we're getting, we're not organized. We're just randomly talking about stuff. Yeah. This video right here, right? I shouldn't play the audio because it's screaming from their TV is crappy. You think he did that live or they just replayed it? I think 100% I think it was he fake. replayed it. I'm 100% <laughs> think he replayed it. Again, great that the That's Eagles cool. uh, yeah. repost that form. Great for fandom. Great for everything in life. But every time I watch any of those, unless it's a small child under the age of 10 crying, yeah, I assume that you just rewound 30 seconds and just... We should have went super old school and put the Lance Stevenson blowing. Oh. <laughs> 
That would have been the ball. That, the Eagles, y'all dropped the ball. That's what you should have did. <laughs> Nobody would have got that reference. Yeah, oh, they, oh, everybody would have got that reference. Phillies were yeah. in the playoffs when that Every, happened. Probably. Everybody would have got that reference. And uh, Cox is playing well. By the way, did you like the Eagles black pants? I did. I do. I, I do. When they wear the black helmet, which I was kind of mad that they did that because it's just everyone's using the black helmet as their alternate. Yeah. But with the black pants. Well, Sunday night should be a blackout because it's Sunday night football, right? I don't think it's going to be, though. They're not using the black helmet until later in the year, I think, versus the Packers. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean. But whatever. I want Kelly Green. No, you don't like it. I'm not the biggest fan. Because you're a grump. <laughs> you don't like anything fun and joyful in life. I didn't get all mad when they changed the lettering this year. <laughs> like everyone did. I know. <laughs> uh, no, it's not that serious. No. Let's hear uh, Nick Johnny's speech. Best five. Two, three with the pit. Back. We the dog five. We the dog just five. That's how you do it. Wait a go. Hey. Hey. Hey, bring it in. Bring it in tight. Hey, Jason said it before the game. All right, it's not about who's the toughest. It's about who's the toughest and longest. And look what happened. Defense, you played your ass off the whole game. Great job. Damn. Cam, that one feel a little bit better than Oklahoma, Texas? Yeah. Great job, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Game ball, he gets one. Yeah. 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 Hey, and then offense. <laughs> offense. The run game wasn't going like the way we wanted it, but we freaking took it to him that last drive and took six and a half minutes off. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. Guys. That whole group's a bunch of warriors. That 62 is a warrior. Yeah. He laid it on the line. He laid it on the line for you guys. He was hurting hard. And he came on the and he came out and kept playing for you guys. And I know a lot of you guys did that. I'm freaking proud of you guys. Hey, I got one more thing. I talked enough. I talked all, all week. Right? I talked on uh, I wanted to hear what he talked about. <laughs> he talked about it too. Uh, he probably said something about the Cowboys, and they didn't want to give him. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to give him the uh, poster board material. So, I I like this coach. Yeah. The T-shirt thing. Like I at this point, I assume it's genuine. I assume it's real, and I can't have any bad feelings right. about it because it's just his personality. Because he is a corny guy. He's just a sports geek. He is. He's right. he is a nerd, and. Uh, it's good that we're winning because it's easier for him to have the conversations that he wants. But he also, even to his credit, when we were losing last year, he did the flowers and the growth and the things. So he doesn't change. It was so confusing when he said that. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? It, it, and it, he, but he doesn't change. Like he, Even there, he's like, you know, stumble a little bit, like when he gets excited and he's trying to gather his thoughts and things like that. But at least he's consistent. Win or lose, this seems to be who he is. Yes. He is a little more confident on the mic and public speaking and all that now, too. And that, and that comes along with the job, right? Like, you know what I mean, like you get better at it. Yeah. And uh, he's done such a phenomenal job getting these guys ready because, it, you know, again, when you're worried about, oh, they barely beat this team, you're getting this team's best. Right. Your offensive line was dinged up. You had people in defense out. Your kicker was out. In a place you haven't won in eight tries. Eight tries. 2001, because yeah. we played it all the time. So, again. With the Cowboys looming next week, so you're worried about that a little and it was, bit in the back of your it was mind. Definitely a tra- it was definitely a trap game. It it's a game that they were going to lose. Nobody would have going to say anything. Right. But when you win, you still got to pick them apart, and I, and I get that. But the other thing that I like that I I also dislike, what I just said, Nick is a cheese ball corny guy, so he's yes. going to be the whole next game up, next man up, blah, 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 all the time, and Hurts is captain, don't eat the rat cheese poison because, <laughs> you know, uh, Bama is still ingrained in the back of his brain, you know what I mean? And his father was a coach, so I'm sure he heard his whole life, don't think you're special, you ain't shit, right. go work harder. Right. And, he, <laughs> and so he speaks in that tone all the time, and I'm fine with it, but at the same time, I'm like, my goodness, you know. The, the, the quotes, like you said, is let's ride. It's That's about it's, it could it's, be worse. Yeah, yeah, it could be worse. How did Russ end his press conference with "Let's ride" after that game on Thursday? Oh, he is out there. He is oh. just on one man. That's so, crazy. Let me, let me look. Oh, we okay. So <laughs> uh, let's talk about a couple of things around the league real quick because we only talk about twenty four minutes. This, this show is not going to go crazy long. Yeah. Russ is stealing money. Stealing. 
I'm texting you during the game, and I and I said coaching is bad, yep. which it is. But then I went back and I watched because uh, I have the YouTube thing, yeah. so I watched. Plays. I watched the highlights. Yeah, he's he's dipping and dodging from every fucking body. Yeah, he's missing open receivers. He's got. Like he's seeing ghosts back there. Like he's throwing the ball and dropping to the ground. Yeah, that that means you're scared. Business he, decision. Oh, no, that's why. Uh, two, two, and not only is it like once in the blue or like Aaron Donald's coming at you or Michael Parsons is coming at you, it's like regular nobody dudes are coming, and you're literally just ducking down the ground, dude. It, it, you scrambled three times in these first five games. This is not what you pay. He needs to watch uh, Rocky Three when he sells out, and he, he, you know, he has to get taught a lesson again. That's it, what's happening right now. It is. Like, it is. And th- and that's also the problem with the Rams yep. because they all got their money. And Donald's talking about retiring. Because, again, all I want to do is win a Super Bowl. I want a Super Bowl, and you can tell the difference in the hunger. And some teams want it more. You know, you got uh, people like Brady and Belichick who just want to cheat their way to get more and more and more. And other people who just say, I don't even want to cheat. I just want to go home with my check and my baby. And that's fine. Uh, uh, but don't take a contract for $100-plus plus million dollars. From a f- proud historic franchise, two hundred. Oh, yeah, my bad, <laughs> my bad, Broncos. Meanwhile, Geno Smith is making a dollar sixty-five a game. Balling. <laughs> they lost to the Saints. Oh, Killed us. they hurt us. On I'm not Your even going to put the text message up there. Your boy. But me and you, oh, we we are haters. We yep. we are overweight sitting at home <laughs> in our mama's basement tweeting out haters because we hate Taysom Hill with oh, all our heart. This uh, scat back Thundercat white boy been stealing money. He got a $100 million contract, and you and I both were just in the middle of texting that same day like, yo, did you see? He's like, yeah, Taysom Hill, $100 million. <laughs> like, we were just talking shit, right? Why would you do that? You got Jameson, you got, and then you get Dalton. We're like, why did you give Taylor Hunter Mendo? And just last week, you and I yep. Trash were texting. Him. Trash him. This fool done <laughs> stole $100 million. He ain't got no plays. He ain't did nothing. He ain't shit. And apparently, uh, Facebook out here sending out people's personal conversations because Hill got a hold of him and he said, I took that personal. <laughs> hold my beer. I got to go show these fools something. Three rushing touchdowns, pass for a touchdown. Got a fumble recovery. My God, did he have a game. I need to figure out how to uh, monetize this. Whenever I shit talk somebody, it turns out then they like right immediately like, and now he does good. You're like, okay, all right. <laughs> Put $5 on a motherfucking parlay. Right, right. Cause uh, that, and, and he wasn't even like, he was substituted in. Yeah. Dalton was still doing his job. He that, took that fourth and one and he was oh my God. gone. Oh my God. That game was. <laughs> Uh, incredible. I, know. I wanted the Seahawks to win so it, bad. So bad. It's so bad. Because again, <laughs> Hill just, oh, he rode off in the sunset. I, you know, that that's a game of a lifetime. I don't know yeah. if you'll have a better game than that, but that was a game of a lifetime. Well, then it's like, oh, why not just let him be the QB? But then you remember watching him play versus the Eagles last year. Yeah. He can't throw. No. He can't throw. Not at all. So <laughs> he's um, Tebow with a slightly better arm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Probably not. We're talking about the flyer season starting while we're looking stuff up. Uh, oh, go ahead and talk about it while I'm looking something up. Uh, that was all I had. That the uh, flyers, the flyers are starting. Are starting out. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, real quick too. Um, so we talked about Joiner, Seth Joiner. They cut off his quote when he says, "If you go play like this against the Cowboys, then you're gonna get your butt whipped." Right. That they're going to embarrass the Eagles. They're going to embarrass the Eagles, and then they Comma. cut off, and, and, and they cut off the clip where it says, "If you don't make adjustments and you play like this," right? And so he, you know, he got killed on the internet, and he's, you know, grumpy. Why do you think? But um, this is um Rivera, Rivera. getting asked. A, Riverboat. Yeah, Riverboat Ron asking <laughs> about um the uh, quarterback situation. Let's we'll, we'll see what happens. The teams in the division are farther ahead at, at this point. Quarterback. The truth is that this is a quarterback-driven league. And if you look at the teams that have been able to sustain success, they've been able to build it around a specific quarterback. Why do you think so? That's not the quote that got put on the internet. The media is so crazy. <laughs> what What's the difference between the division? Quarterback. That's it. That's when the one quote. quote. <laughs> quarterback. And then they got a sad picture of Carson Wentz. <laughs> then the other quote is, what's the difference? 
getting good quarterback play. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Now, this d- doesn't show the whole thing, and I don't even feel like looking for it, but he said when you have a quarterback who is giving you good play and you build the team around him, he goes on to say we need to build this team around Carson now that we have our guy right. that we believe in. We've got to build this team around him and his talents. I think we saw good things late in that game that he came alive. That's the full quote. Right. And nobody ever does that. And I'm like, I hate the media so much. The worst. And, I, and I'm making a show because I'm part of the media right. now. I'm on podcast media. But it's like, my God, just tell the whole fucking quote and stop doing this stuff. Like, everything doesn't have to be clickbait. Did you see the one thing the Washington team did this week for uh, Brian Robinson Jr. returning? What did they do? When he, he was introduced last. Oh, yeah. And as he came out, he came out to many, many men. men. Wish death upon me, oh, blood in my in dog, and I can't though. see. Oh right. yeah, I mean that's that's gangster. That's that's thug life right there. Um, so oh uh, yeah, they got the. That's one thing I can't stand. It. Oh, God, what? I, I we live in a world of the camera's always on. You know the camera's always on. Mm-hmm. When he does this, yeah, you know why he does that. Yes. Why does he do it? Wait. No, no, no. Tell Maybe me why. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Tell me why he does. Do you, do you know why he does that? No, I don't. I lied. His? Fa- okay. <laughs> gotcha. But see, this is what I'm talking about the media. See how the media do? That's just how, a perfect example of how the media do. You ask them a question, they say, yeah, they I don't, don't know. know. I'm a, and I'm about to tell you to follow up because it might not be something that you didn't know or not know. Jalen Hurts loves Michael Jeffrey Jordan. He loves him. That is his idol. That is his guy. That's why he wears that stupid little earring in one ear. That's why he wears that little baby gold <laughs> chain. Because if you go out, if you go Google it, Michael Jordan's rookie year, that's why he had, had the little baby gold and he had the ear pierce. And so when he comes off and he does the, yeah. that's Jordan. And it fucking pisses me off because I hate Jordan so much. So it's like, I know I just scored a touchdown yeah. and I'm going to jog off with my helmet off. And for the next 40 years, it's going to be. MJ and on the way to the sideline. So that I hate because I know why he's doing it. I know why you're doing it, Jalen. I know why you're doing it. That's that Jordan shit. Don't bring that Jordan shit here. Make up your own shit. Get, get, you know I mean, like, uh, that Nike deal. Man, look, uh, <laughs> like uh, Kobe had the whole, you know, biting his shirt. No, he biting his shirt. He stole from Jordan, too. The, the yeah. Pulling his nipple out, you know what I mean? <laughs> and and, and, uh, and LeBron and LeBron does the, <laughs> you know what I mean? The, 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 come up with your own, Jalen. Stop with the. Because he does it all the time now, and I can't stand it because I know why he does he it. He did the gritty also. He did do the gritty. I mean, the <laughs> dancing, uh, oh, that's all fine. But that, I thought that was for you. That right <laughs> I mean, I'm black. I don't know if he knows. But that right there, that's why he does that. Like Right there, that's that Jordan. That, mm, who, me? Why me? I don't know. Uh, I, but I love him, obviously. But that, <laughs> that, when they that. scored that touchdown, it was 14 nothing. I'm like, here we go. And then? <laughs> I, I don't have any feelings towards that because I right. think all the time, like, um, oh, shoot, I, I did that, and I didn't even show to people. I'm sorry, people. What's that? I, I'm sorry, people. Oh, I you didn't, didn't play the clip? It. You I just showed play. it for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, we're, bad, business. We're, we're, that's bad business. I'm sitting here <laughs> talking about it. There you go. That's the Jordan move. He's like, mm, me. You were just trying to catch me Oop. not realizing I was on cameras. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is messed up. Uh, so that, that was him, and that, that's what he do, and it, it's fine. I get it. Um, what do you think about uh your boy, Draymond Green? We're gonna, we're gonna end on that. Uh, no, Draymond. we're gonna end on actually Cowboys week. But what do you think about your boy, uh, Draymond? Well, fights happen. Draymond always plays super close to the edge with his intensity, and he clearly crossed the line. But that's it. He'll serve his little suspension, and then you get back after it, and nothing will happen with to the team or anything. It won't fracture the team. There won't be any issues like that. Like they'll just keep on moving. Um. So I can't even find a cloud. Everybody's it's a good seen punch it. too. Yeah, everybody's seen it. <laughs> so Draymond gets in this situation all the time, where he's always up in somebody's face. Yeah. He used to kick people in the nuts all the time, and he talks outlandishly to everyone equally. Everyone. It doesn't matter. I mean, it could damn near be somebody's mom out there. I'm sure he'd be talking trash. Because mm-hmm. to talk to KD the way he talked to KD, knowing that he was your anchor to beat LeBron James. Without him, you you would have had a tougher time, would have been equal. You know what I mean? But you took that guy in. You needed him. You called him. You begged for him. And then you got the nerve to talk shit after you get the wins, saying you don't need him. Granted, you come back a couple years later and get a win. Didn't need him. <laughs> Didn't need him. <laughs> Injuries galore. I don't even want to talk about how they got that win, but they, they got it. And so he got one. 
But dude, you're not him. Right. You're not that guy. You're not a superstar. So to get in Poole's face, first of all, Pool, don't push somebody. Man, grown man, get in your space. If you're gonna push him, punch him. If you're gonna or at least push be him, ready. If you push him. And once you push him, be ready. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, you, uh, he ain't going to slide on me. I don't know if he's going to slide on me. You ain't you ain't put your hands up. You weave, weave. Like, I mean, you, oh, my God. He took a Superman punch to the face, and the only saving grace for him is that it was in the backdrop of the backboard so he could hit the padded wall. Yeah, he would hit the floor hard. Oh, if he would have been in the open floor... Oh, his cranium would have gotten blown up on that. Oh man, that, on that Draymond's done, by the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because it don't, you know, a uh, 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 bounce your head off that, off that floor. He's lucky you went into padded. Dolphins would have cleared him. <laughs> like, <laughs> did <laughs> Dolphins would have cleared him? So yeah, uh, Draymond, that's some sucker shit. Like Shannon Sharp was like, that was a sucker punch. I don't think it was a sucker punch. I stood up to you, man to man. Ain't a sucker punch from the back, from the side, from the back. You know what I mean? He, I looked you square in your eyes, raised my hands, and then jumped into you. Like, bro, you, you don't think to, like I said, weave do nothing. I've been in too many fights. I I may look fat, but I done lost my fair share, won my fair share. I ain't never just let nobody just straight up hit me in my face coming without me moving right like when i when i you see that i'm like my god he raised up on him <laughs> by the way so the outrage after the punch if it's pool punching draymond there's no outrage no it's everyone's going oh that fool got what he deserves yes but exactly. now just because it's draymond that threw the punch it's pure outrage and it's such crap because draymond's got this attitude and you already know that he has this attitude right. now draymond thinking I'm not even a draymond fan either but I'm not like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. Like, and again, what the people are like, oh, the suspension's late. I'm like, what do you expect Kerr to tell the management? Like, right. yo, Jordan used to beat my ass on the regular. We won championships. What do you want me to say? Like, I know and, it's a different sport. Aaron Donald swung a helmet at somebody in the preseason that didn't get suspended at all. At all. Not even missed a practice. <laughs> and and you've seen so many fights and so many games and so many things. Yeah, it, it, it's just it's the only thing that's problem too is this team on team. And and it got leaked for apparently fifty k, hundred k, got it done. That's it. That was it. Oh man, I, that's I, light. man, they he gave up, up too quick. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd held TMZ to fire for that because you know how viral it's gonna go. Yeah, you know, and they got the little TMZ stamp all over. Everybody wants to look at it, but you know, I'm not that. I'm not losing my job for fifty k. No, like, that's just not. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, fifty k. I mean, you flipping and dipping, you might turn into something. Uh, <laughs> but and and they outed the dude too that sold it, so that was the crazy part. Normally they don't tell you who right. did it, but I, they had a guy and they had his picture up and his name or whatever in the in the report that I saw. So uh, that is what it is. Um, so just to end real quick, Braves, uh, we're trying to come out one and one and then get to the playoff. That's the uh, get to the Friday. Phillies yeah, a that's, struggle with the Braves all yes, year. That's exactly. What we turn that around now. So hopefully that's that's what we can. That's what we're shooting for. As far as the Cowboys are concerned, I think they might try to start Dak. We'll know by Wednesday because if yeah. he practices, and he's gonna start. then he's going to start. I don't think they want to start him. I don't think they want to start him. I don't think they should start him. The key to that game is going to be can the Eagles' offensive line be healthy? Well, my lot is going to be back. Right. But Dickerson's been banged up. He's been in and out for two weeks. Kelsey was in and out, but you never know with him. We need, we need to stop the run and run the ball. Yep. Stop the run and run the ball. And this is going to be the week where if we lose, the whole world comes tumbling down. Even though it shouldn't. It should. But it will be. But it will. The whole <laughs> yes. world's going to come tumbling down. And this is the week that people are already doing it. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. I'm like. It's none of that. Just win the game. The Cardinals were 8 no. Right. <laughs> Like I got lot you know, can change. I you yep, know it just uh, and and one injury yep. away. Like we're, we're, we're again at this point, I'm I'm trying to find a couple games in the schedule where I could just put Minshew in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And not for nothing, they play so well in the second. Like so, the stat: the Eagles have only scored five point five points in the second half. Yeah, but they're the number one scoring offense in the first half, right. and oh, they're tied for uh, uh, second and scoring points in the first half, but they're the number one second quarter scoring offense by like a thousand percent because that's where they score all their points. Except for this week. Yeah, so I'm like, we we just need to 
win this game for my shit talking prospect abilities. That's all I really care about. That's all I really care right. about. Like win this game at home, uh, maybe split down the line and see where we go from here. But we, we got to beat the fucking Cowboys because I hate the Cowboys and I hate Cowboys fans and I hate Cowboy friends and I hate Cowboy family and I hate mm-hmm. Cowboys, <laughs> period. Uh, and uh, side note, last thing. The Giants. How? How? how coaching. How? Yeah. Coaching. Yeah. Coaching. The like. same thing I've been saying. Coaching. Like the only thing that doesn't change is coaching. And that and Saquon got to get a check. Saquon's back because it's contract time. That's right. So. You know, same thing. People are like, oh, Sanders is balling. Yeah, because it's contract time. This is why I hate giving people money. And uh, gosh, th- anyway. I'd pay Saquon before I paid Sanders. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, like yeah. Saquon either. I don't like Saquon either, but I mean, Saquon with a uh, a little trip tip. Yeah, you know, go, bro. Speaking of Penn State running backs, Michigan's going to beat them. Trash Talk City. That's why I wore the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Just trash talk prospects. I'm, I'm Same try, thing. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to get into college. I, I watch like one game a weekend. I'm trying to find my fan base, trying to find my fandom, trying to get me a, 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 a up and coming underdog. You know what I mean? And uh, my up and coming underdog, you know, you know, who I'm leaning towards. I'm leaning. Prime? Huh? You going with Coach Prime? So <laughs> I got Coach Prime in my heart. Yeah. My blackness won't allow me not to love Coach Prime. You know what I'm saying? Coach Prime is, is uh, 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 doing his ham sandwich down there. Uh, uh, swaggied out, <laughs> uh, but my prime, my prime okay. time, uh-huh. prime choice is? is somewhere in Texas. Okay, money's being spent now, and if I'm gonna get on a bandwagon, Texas got long money. They got that long horn money. They got long horns. Are you going with the Arch Manning? I might go with the Arch Manning. Oh, I might, nice. I might jump on the little baby bandwagon and see if he can hold up to his better. Uh, spoken uncle and better performing uncle in <laughs> Super Bowls. My God, to, they're you hilarious. Could, by the way, you oh they're they're they're, they're, <laughs> they're great. The I hate Eli Manning yeah. football. But Eli Manning r- little brother is the best fucking like they could have been Powers. a sketch comedy. <laughs> Chad Chad Powers. <laughs> they could have been a buddy show yeah. for a long time because um, Peyton is just funny. Oh, big he, time. Yeah. he's he's funny. Eli is so dumb, he's funny. And then he doubles down on his dumbness, knowing how dumb he is. And then he pokes out something smart. And you're like, yo, it's it's great banter between them. Those two guys, it, it, it just works. They've been funny since they did the ESPN commercial years ago. They've been funny <laughs> since Peyton Manning threw them balls at them little kids in the, in the uh, <laughs> SNL skit where he's just like, go long, Billy, fucking dime, a fucking dime. Like, he's cussing them little kids. I'm like, yeah, that's okay. I was listening to him. He's... uh. He's the offensive coordinator for his kids' football team. Oh, God. And he said kids come off the field and they're like, why are we running that play? That play sucks. And you're like, <laughs> what? He's like, 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 who are you talking to? Me, man? I, I, when, he, when, he, when he did the SNL skin, I got to pay managers. It don't fit me no more because I've been back in slimmer days. But <laughs> it's in there on the rack. Because I was like, this guy is great. This Yo, that's guy my is problem great. with the Phillies winning now. None of my jerseys fit anymore. <laughs> Hey, go get yourself an extra <laughs> extra medium <shmedium> jersey, <laughs> and uh, you know when they, when, they, when they talk about October rise, I'm talking about my belly rising up out of the bottom. I haven't tried <laughs> to. Uh, I tried to shirt. do it open, you know, with the t-shirt. Under. Oh yeah, yeah, like, that's how you do it. Like, that's how you it's do not it. it. Hey, look, look, <laughs> fat guy yeah, in a though. little shirt. Um, uh, Jason Ferguson at IQZ on Twitter. I'm your boy Jason AKO Doctor. Go follow us on. Uh, Facebook and the internet. We're going to try and get our Facebook popping with more conversations so we can talk to you guys. Uh, Eagles. Hopefully next week we're in a good mood. Oh, we got we got a 50 50 100 percent chance. We got, we got October baseball. We, I, you know, I told my told my daughter. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to be your father as best I can, but you know, <laughs> it's playoffs, <laughs> and you know, and she loves baseball. But she's weird like me; like she loves going to the games. Like she likes being at the park. She yeah. can't really watch it on TV. And I've actually kind of ruined sports for her because she's like, I can't sit next to you. That's fair. Because like you be swinging, hitting the. Ca- <laughs> like I watch, I watch games by myself because I'll be over here air punching. Like you know I mean, I got a, my house ain't a mansion. I got a small house. When the Phillies came back. I started running through this bitch. You might have thought there was an earthquake. My picture started shaking. The light started shaking. Everything in this bitch was rumbling and bumbling. And then she's just like, are you okay? I'm like, I am okay. Don't come out your room. You stay right where you at. We got to keep the luck brewing. Don't move. Stay on your ticky tockies or whatever you're doing. 
But uh, yeah, I always just, think I'm staying cool, and then the kids are like, "Why were you yelling at the TV?" Uh, was dude, I? I, t- <laughs> I I know I'm yelling. <laughs> I, I I can feel it. Like sometimes I like yo calm it down. Like the back of my throat be hitting like ah. Gah, gah. So uh, but yeah, it's just exciting times. It's fun. It's the best. And uh, yeah, uh, hope your family's doing well. Like, share, subscribe, whatever crap you're gonna do or don't do. I don't care. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs>